Hi guys. I wanted to share my opinion on dating an independent woman. Okay. There seems to be plenty of advice out there how to date a young, inexperienced, very dependent kind of girl who probably still lives with her parents, just finished school, looking for a man to make decisions for her and take her by the hand. So this is not that kind of advice. This is an advice for men, and I'd like to hear women's opinion below, who would like to date a woman who is independent, a woman who is an entrepreneur, who has her career in order, who runs a business, is a type A personality, is a go-getter, any of these kinds of women. Now, just to clarify, those women are not necessarily a feminist. Most of them are not. So how can you get into that kind of relationship with a woman who is strong, who is opinionated, who knows what she wants. Is there room for you for a man? There is. In fact, one of the reasons why women become strong and independent is because of the lack of leadership in their lives, whether it is lack of parental leadership, bad example, or possibly a failed relationship with a man and she has to take charge of her own life. In her own family, sometimes she raises her own kids on her own. But that does not mean that there is no room in her life for a man. It just, you need to be a different kind of man. You need to be stronger than her, but also allow room for her to be who she is. Appreciate her strength and her qualities that she brings to the table. Compliment her. It doesn't mean that you have to mold into her mold <laughs> but it means that you need to get to know her you need to get to understand her what does she like what does she want from a relationship what does she want a man to bring into her life from what i've gathered from a lot of women who are strong opinionated and run their own businesses is that there's plenty of room for a man a woman who runs a business during the day wants to kick back at night wants to cuddle and lean on a strong chest and chat about her day, about her struggles, about something that happened at work, about what she needs help with, about helping her making a decision, all these kinds of things. She needs a man for that. So if you can be that kind of man, if you can let her be a free bird in whatever she's pursuing, but then be there for her, when she's available, after work, weekends, whatever time she's got for you, she'll be all yours because she needs that strong, um, what do you call it, stronghold to lean on. She needs support. She needs encouragement, just like anybody else. In fact, sometimes more because she's running on full steam all day long so when she does come to you she's a little girl she needs comfort she needs protection and by protection i don't mean physical protection i mean emotional mental protection intellectual support having that conversation doing a bit of back and forth letting her know about you how your day went do something together something that's fun something that's uplifting and something that will lighten her life don't complicate it with any more drama. Don't compete with her. There's absolutely no need to compete with a strong woman. She appreciates other people who are strong. So if you are solid, she will know that. If you're insecure, if you need something to prove, if you have something to prove, she will feel that it's not gonna work. She needs somebody as strong as she is. So. Lesson for you, go work on yourself. Go work on yourself. Become a man who she can admire. Become a man who she can respect. Become a man who she can look up to. Be unshakable, be strong. And you will not be intimidated by her strength, by her success, by the fact that she may be busy and have priorities in her life and that you may not always be 
number one priority. But that doesn't mean that you cannot be the absolute love of her life. Just by being understanding of a life, of a successful woman, of a strong, ambitious woman, if you even give her an idea that you understand what she's going through and how strong she is to do what she's doing, you give her that acknowledgement, support, that validation, anybody needs validation. And even if she's super accomplished, she will love to hear it from men. Men, lesson for you, women love to hear things with their ears. Tell her anything and everything. You look at her like she looks pretty, then just walk away, tell her. You walk by her, she's busy at work, tell her I admire her dedication. Talk, speak up, give her compliments, acknowledgement, validation. She will be so grateful. You will receive it back multiple folds. You will feel more like a man because you are giving to her. You are feeding her with this emotional and intellectual support. You are filling her glass because even if she seems independent and successful, she's still has room for you to fill that cup at validation, support, complimenting her, acknowledging her for her success. Even if those are little things, could be something she's done with the kids, could be a meal she made, or could be even something she ordered. She didn't have time to cook. She ordered a meal and it was good. Compliment her. Most of the advice I hear is reverse. Women should always compliment the men. Women should always praise the men. Women should always give men the praise. Who's going to give the praise to women? And yeah, okay. The, the women that are weak, um, dramatic, insecure, uh, dependent, they may seem like they may need that support. And women who are strong and independent may not seem like they need that support, but you got it wrong, guys. It's the other way around. A woman who's strong and successful, you have a reason to give her acknowledgement. You have a reason to compliment her on her success. She worked hard, not only on herself to become the person that she is, but also on whatever venture she's pursuing, even if it's just raising a family. A woman in these, in these days, Women in this century work hard. We still have all of the responsibilities that we had for the last many, many centuries to run a home, raise a family, do the dishes, <laughs> and we work, and we run a business, maybe even volunteer. We do a lot of stuff. So. Don't let that intimidate you. Look at it through a different set of eyes. Make sure you acknowledge those things. Make sure you look at that as she's your trophy. Like she brings so much to the relationship. She brings so much to the table. She's so much of a person. You'll never be bored. You'll never run out of things to do. You'll never run out of things to talk about. She is a multifaceted, well-rounded human being who's got her crap together. But let's see if you're up for that challenge. Let me know in the comments. Are you up for that challenge or would you rather just sell with you know, a Barbie doll who just follows you and a yes woman and the doormat? Would you prefer that? Let me know.